I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. So, I I really wanted to talk about you know um, some things that I feel like people need to know before doing crochet here. I just and I felt like I had to share this with a, another woman that want want and decides to get this style because it's not something that you play with, you know. And it's it's just really traumatizing, really scary, and I just felt like I you know we had to let you know that. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I really want to talk about something really important today. And I feel like a lot of people need to understand before they decide to do crochet here. Um, it's uh, sorry, I was really, really interrupted. Um, I'm gonna wait for this flame to pass. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. So I, I really wanted to talk about you know um, some things that I feel like people need to know before doing crochet here. Um, I have crochet in my hair right now, and um, I I actually collaborated with a hairstylist, crowned by D. Her name is Dion. She couldn't be here today because she's actually out right now with clients, informing people about what they need to know about crochet hair before deciding to make that decision. Uh, so she couldn't be here with me today. So I really want to get into this video uh, just to say that. Here are, here are 10 things you need to know before doing crochet here. Well, one, it's big. You know, as, as you can see, you know, on the video here next to me, the hair is big. And I feel like a lot of people don't understand this. They may second guess it. But when you first do the crochet style, when it's big curly hair, it's gonna be big. And I don't know if you know how to process that information, but it's gonna be big. Your parts will separate after time. like. Your hair grows, there's this thing that, that uh, it, it's like new growth or something. And it's really, really scary at first because you're just like, well, why is it that I have a Moses part in my head? Why, why, is, my, well, why is my crochet parts growing apart? And it's, it's just really traumatizing, really scary. And I just felt like, I, you know, we had to let you know that it will get frizzy. <sighs> but... You, you you can wash it you can wash it um you can wash it you can wash it um some people are some people have gotten really sick you know when you stall in the crochet style some people have gotten really sick and the reason for that is you can be allergic to synthetic hair yeah if you're allergic allergic and you can have a reaction you can have a breakout you know now fortunately it didn't happen to me but you can be allergic and and it's it's something that you definitely want to take seriously you know if you're allergic to synthetic hair the first time can be really really scary if you've never done crochet before you know i know a lot of women you know they want to change their look they want to be different they want they want a different they want a change they want a different style it's scary and it's not just hair. It's not just hair. And that's just what I try to tell people. It is not just hair. It's your look. It's so important. And I just want everyone to understand that you need confidence to rock this. But actually, you might not need that much confidence because the hair looks bomb when it's ready. It's done. When it, when it looks oh, when it's done, it looks so good. But it, it's scary. And you know, you just need to have the courage and you just gotta have the confidence you know if you're trying color you know for the first time it shouldn't be with crochet braids it's, now is not the time if you've never done color before and you and you went to go get a crochet install don't waste your time if you know you don't like color or if you know it's your first time be stronger than that be smarter than that make sure you've done color first or you can commit all the way because crochet is, is just one of those things that you just need to be on point with, you know? <laughs> go like, go with me. I, I went safe. I went black at first, you know? And, and now I feel like I can have the courage to transition into other colors, you know? If curly hair is not for you, stay away. I'm, I'm, no, no, look at me. Look at me. Stay away from curly hair if it's not for you. Stay away from curly hair. Curly hair isn't for everyone. And I'm sorry, I'm just getting really emotional. 
Um, I, I like curly hair a lot. It took me a lot of courage to be able to rock this style, but I'm so glad I did, you know. Um, but, you know, if you can't do curly, stay away. <sighs> and, you know, a lot of women, we've gone through so much stress. Our hair's fallen out. Our edges have fallen out. If you have a damaged hairline, and it's okay if you do, if you have a damaged hairline, it means less versatility. You can't part it all the way. You, you can't do the middle part. It depends on your hairline. And that's why you need to be very, very certain, you know, and, and, and be okay with not being able to do the, vers- the versatility as much as you'd like to if your hairline is damaged. It's so important. There's no leave out. You, you, you cannot, you, you will lose access to your real hair you know and if you're like me I I miss my hair you know I do but at the same time before I got the style I was complaining about how much I was tired of my hair so now is not the time to be indecisive about your 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 hair and whether you want to have your hair out or whether you want to keep it in or or whether this is a protective style you will not you you will not have access to your hair You, you will miss it and but there's no leave out it's just the style of it you know now as as heavy as the style may look it's really really light it's so light and I'm mad that it's so light (laughs) you know what I mean like my neck doesn't hurt anymore and and I I don't know how to deal with that now as much as some ladies would love for the style to last six months to a year I, I I really regret to inform you that It's a style that lasts as long as six to eight weeks. And if you really think about it, that's a long, that's a long time. With, 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 with beautiful crochet, six to eight weeks. Wow. You mean I don't have to tamper with my hair for six to eight weeks? And it it is very easy to treat your hair underneath this too. I, I use, um, I use a growth oil. And it, it, it works for me. I, I use an oil and the hair can be really big at first, but it flattens out. Like, like, look at me. This is, I think we're about two weeks old and the hair just fell. And oddly enough, I kind of like it like that. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It looks so even more natural as like time has gone on and this is so scary like why does the crochet rate look even more natural as time goes on what like like what so ladies i just want to say that i really like the style okay guys so you guys heard it here first Dion feels like this hair is some really really good hair because it's very soft i guess compared to some other crochet styles where it's coarser yeah. right This is 10 things or more than 10 things you might need to know about crochet braids before you get them. You know, it's not as big as people may think it is, but I just hope that these facts really do help you. Um, And yeah, I love my crochet braids. Uh, I love this hair. I love how natural and full and just bomb. It just is, you know, and you can see D, she, she braided my hair on the side and did the whole thing. So guys, don't freak out with crochet braids when you get them. It's not that big of a deal, but I do hope that these tips help you. Let me know if you have more questions in the comments. And shout out to Dion, crowned by D, for giving me these facts and things you need to know about crochet before you get them. Because she is a crochet braid uh, specialist. She's just so bomb at that, guys. And she knows what she's talking about. So these are some of the concerns her clients have had. And I hope that this really, you know, solves your problems. So if you want to see more videos like this and done in this way, because... I thought about it. I was just like, I want to give you guys tips on how to, you know, maybe maintain it or what you should know before you get it. But I don't want to do it in the most, you know, like, hey, guys, here are 10 tips you need to know. You know, like I wanted to make it a bit dramatic because, you know, us girls, we can be dramatic when it comes to hair. And it's just not that deep. You know what I mean? So I'll see you guys in my next video. Thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this. And I'll see you next time. Also, by the way, before you go, wait, before you go, before you go. Did you subscribe yet? Are you subscribed? Are you gonna subscribe now? Okay, subscribe now. You have any games on your phone? Okay, bye. You make it out over there. I think they're making out. I think they're making out over there. I think they're making out. Are they making out? Oh god. I think they can see me. Oh my god, this is so weird. Oh my god, alright, we're gonna